Well, if you look at our healthcare system right now, we're paying per person about almost twice as much as they pay in other advanced economies. And that's just a lot of money to be paying for health care, especially when you look at the bottom line, that we don't really do any better in overall mortality. Uh, outcomes aren't really any, any much better in the, the, here in the United States than they are elsewhere. So we could clearly, we're not getting the bang for the buck. And if you look where the growth in costs are, it's not in the number of doctors, it's not in the number of nurses, it's in a huge expansion in administration. There are a lot more people involved in healthcare who don't actually deliver healthcare. It's an overhead cost. And that's really been growing dramatically. We have multiple insurance companies that all do basically the same thing. Multiple CEOs who are basically managing the same thing. We could have so much consolidation and efficiency in the healthcare system. The other thing we have to look at is that it might be time to move away from a system of health insurance based on employment. That's, that just grew up by accident in the United States. Back in World War II, um, you couldn't hire away workers by giving, paying them more money because there were wage and price controls during the war. So instead, people started offering health insurance. And that's how the private health insurance industry got started. And it worked well for us for a long time. But now, as we're moving into this new global economy where people need to be flexible and need to move from job to job, they can't be in a situation where they might lose their health insurance if they leave a job, or they might not be able to get insurance if they develop a chronic illness, as many of us are going to do. So it may be time for us to reevaluate whether having employee-based health care makes sense anymore.